over. Take a look at this video. Police had gone in and were clearing That's one classroom at a time. It's they a, they brought just in dog sniffing dogs uh, and the sheriff's office. Well, well, yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. In the last period of class on a Thursday, right before school was going to get up, the last I expected was to get sniffed out by a bomb dog and then have a man with an AR-15 pull me out of class wearing a backwards hat. This was a very interesting day. I think it all started when we were all sitting in class around our computers when somebody saw the Snapchat of a thousand police cars, or at least that's what we believed, piling in through our school gates. After seeing this Snapchat, we literally had no idea what was going on. Our first assumption was, wow, somebody finally shot up our school before finals, and that was what we all assumed very seriously because there was nothing else <laughs> that would happen right before finals besides some kids shooting up our school. We immediately heard over our school radio of our principal saying that our school is now under a soft lockdown. If you don't know what a soft lockdown is, it's where you're really just supposed to stay in your class and not really do anything. You're not supposed to hide under your desk, turn off the lights, or anything. You just sit in your class and wait. You can imagine how we're feeling at that moment. So the first thing we do is we immediately turn to our computers in my photo class of us searching up the news and lo and behold we hear the first three military helicopters fly over our school. We start freaking out. We immediately see that the news story is covering our school from a helicopter. Then we saw the Snapchat. We saw somebody who was walking out of class early, just ditched because it was a soft lockdown, sent us a Snapchat of, our, of a military helicopter landing on our school field. That's when we knew where our school was in deep shit. But we asked our teacher what we're going to do, and he says, I don't know. So we're just all sitting there around our class doing absolutely nothing because we don't know what to do. Then we find out the news. NBC News covering our school live from a helicopter saying there's an extreme bomb threat over the phone. You can imagine how stupid we all thought this was. You know a bomb threat on the phone is always fake. But what we didn't expect was the sudden and extreme response that the police were going to give. The police came down knocking on all of our doors with AR-15s pointed at students. It was absolutely ridiculous the way they treated the students coming out. You have no idea how long this police took. the police took to pull us out of class. Our class was one of the first ones to get pulled out. We were kind of lucky. We only waited around 10 minutes. But our school has 2,500 students and it took over three hours to get to every single class. Some of those kids couldn't go to the bathroom. So most kids ended up pissing in water bottles and stuff, and oh god, it's just the stories go on and we heard all about it, it's disgusting. One student was carrying a bottle of piss behind his back when the police were escorting him out, and they thought he was carrying a gun, so they all surrounded him and started screaming at him, and it was absolutely ridiculous, but we're all laughing our asses off, knowing the kid's carrying a bottle of piss behind his back, when it felt so bad for this kid when we heard the story about him. Anyways, we get pulled out of class with the guys with machine guns, and we just end up walking home. They walk us down the street, guarded by a million cop cars, it feels like, and those on the long stretch to our parking lot. There we see an Uber car that's an undercover Uber parked. It's, it has an Uber sticker and everything, but it has a cop lights underneath. I mean, these cop cars were not playing around. They had every single force member there. Most students' responses were just to be scared and text their parents and watch the news. But we have some students that just went by and making memes. So the next thing my friends and I did is we all came over to my house after the bomb threat, ended up going on our school website and pulling a prank. This is already a terrible idea and it's already gonna end poorly, especially for what happened in the day. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Remember, we still had one more day until the weekend, so tomorrow was Friday, and a lot of students still had the idea in their mind that school was gonna be canceled. We ended up going on a school webpage and going on Inspect Element and then saying that the next day school was canceled, super formal like our principal wrote it. We ended up taking a Snapchat of that and putting on all of our stories with my friends and it spread around like crazy. I mean, students were going absolutely insane that school was canceled, and we had over maybe, I'd say 50 people believe that school was canceled. We ended up going to school the next day and going to one of our classrooms and seeing that half the students were gone. It was absolutely hilarious. We've done it. We've absolutely pulled off one of the best pranks of the year so far, but what we didn't know is that we would all be suspended for the next day. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was. It was pretty funny, and in fact, his one-day suspension was only given to the guy who actually edited it on Inspect Element. We all feel bad for him, but we thought it was a hilarious prank. So, that's what happened with the bomb threat. It was really just a half-assed threat from some kid just pulling a prank. But instead, the cops sent out a full response ended up throwing our school into dismay. It was a pretty fun event, <laughs> just sitting in our classes and just watching the city just pull us all out. It was, it was totally crazy, but... 
I don't know. Everyone was safe. It was all fun. Who cares?